Welcome to our service of Compline at night prayer on Friday the 19th of February. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us as we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me from behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand, hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. You held, your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way, that trusting in your presence in this world, we may beyond this life still be with you, where you are alive and reign forever and ever. Amen. Our Gospel Canticle is the Nunc Diminisis, Song of Simeon. 
Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We offer our prayers for today, for the end of this week. as we look forward to a weekend. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for being with us today. In every breath that we've taken. In every word that we've read. Every telephone call we've made each text that we've sent, each mouthful of food that we've eaten. Thank you that you are there. Thank you that you are with us. And Lord, as we come to the end of this working week, this week of half term, We thank, thank you for the week that's been. And we thank you that the weekend lies ahead with opportunities to rest and a change. And Lord, we pray for those for whom the weekend won't bring rest, for those who will be working tonight. We pray for those who will be working in our hospitals, on our streets, working in shops that will keep serving us with food to help sustain us. Lord, be, be with everybody whether they are resting or working. And Lord, we pray this evening for those who are on our hearts and our minds, for those who are sick, for those who are grieving, for those who are worried about loved ones. Lord, fill their hearts with the hope through your Holy Spirit. Comfort them in their anxiety and their distress. Bring healing where healing seems impossible. And our collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety.
Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. May God bless us, that in us we may be found love and humility, obedience, thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. I wish you a peaceful night.